The women's version of the Big 12 in Oklahoma had two games over the past week. They lost to uh, probable eventual champ Baylor in Lord Noble 78-70 in a game there. And then on senior night for Kalon Williams, the Sooners storm past Iowa State as Kalon dominates on senior night in Norman 85-54. Post game report for those two games coming up next, only right here, Boomer Center 1982. Don't go away. Oklahoma women played both of their games in the Lloyd Noble Center over the past week. They played the first game against the Baylor Bears as Oklahoma plays big on Big Monday, but Baylor just a little bigger. 78-70 to the final score in the Lloyd Noble Center for the, final, for the game. Uh, first half, Baylor shot 46.9% from inside the arc and 25.0% from outside the arc. While the first half for Oklahoma, Oklahoma shot 32.3% from inside the arc and 25% from outside the arc. Second half, after the uh, two intermission would go. Second half, Baylor shot 44.8% from inside the arc after the break, after the second half, uh, for the second half, and 16.7% for the second half from three-point line. While Oklahoma shot 39.3% from inside the arc, and 40% from three-point line for the second half. For the whole game set, Baylor shot 45.9% from inside the arc and 21.4% from outside the arc, while Oklahoma shot 35.6% from inside the arc and 33.3% from outside the arc. The stat stuffers in this one, it was all, a lot of it was all Maddie Manning for points and re, for assists and rebounds. Number 23, Maddie Manning had uh, three assists in the ball game and 10 boards. But the points went to the big lady. Number 42, Kaylon Williams, who had 14 points in this ball game. The shot of the game was when Vinice Pierre Luis scored an easy layup for to get two points to get the Sooners back within two. 60 to 58 late in the game against Baylor. Baylor still led. The Sooners then looked to senior night, and they looked to their senior, Kalon Williams, who uh, had 32 points against Iowa State as Kalon dominates on senior night in Norman, and Oklahoma storms past the Cyclones, 85-54, the final in Norman. First half highlights, Oklahoma for the first, uh, Iowa State for the first half, I'm sorry, shot 34.5% from inside the arc and 45.5% from outside the arc. First half for Oklahoma, they shot 61.5% from inside the arc and 71.4% from three-point line. Second half, Iowa State shot 30.4% from inside the arc and from outside the arc, Iowa State shot 25% from outside the arc in the second half. Well, second half for Oklahoma, OU shot 58.6% from inside the arc and right at 33.3% from outside the arc. For the game, Iowa State shot 32.7% from inside the arc and 40.0% from outside the arc. While Oklahoma shot 60% from inside the arc for the game and, and also shot 60% from outside the arc for the game. Stat leaders, of course, we already talked about number 42, Kalon Williams, who led the team with 30 
two points on senior night. A career high for her at Oklahoma. Also, uh, leading in assists was number 25, Julia Corder. And Peyton Little led in rebounds. Number 10, Peyton Little had seven boards. Shot of the game was when Julia Carter sp spanks in a three-point shot. Assist went to Gabrielle Ortiz to put the Sooners up 8-3, to three, basically over at that point. All right, guys. Preview is coming up next. We don't have a long preview set for the girls because they'll play Texas Tech, and then the tournament gets started, and we don't really know who they're going to play in that yet. It looks like it very well could be Okie State trying to get some revenge there. But it's not official till the official uh, standings are done. And Texas still has to play Baylor. And then uh, West Virginia still has to play a game. We still have to play a game in Oklahoma. So that's not official yet. But I'll let you know when that is. And we'll get a preview for the Big 12 championships up as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, Boomer Sooner. Take care.